Hello, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's Will Johnson back again with another video. This is not a reaction video. This is not. I hope you're doing so well, but this is not a reaction video. But I'm going to watch something, and you'll have the opportunity to observe me and how it affects me in real time. So, this is not a reaction video, though. It's not. This is a flute video by somebody named Matt Mulholland, a cover of My Heart Will Go On. This video has accumulated 38 million views over the past 14 years. This has to be one of the biggest hits of the past 20. If you're asking me the truth, or my own, my own truth, my own perception of the truth, that's what I would say. This one was submitted by my favorite stalker. Thank you for that. Let's get into this. Yeah, here we go. Overlay, that's longing right there. You see that? You see that superimposing this footage where you can slowly draw him underneath? He's getting lost in his thoughts as you would the sea if you were immersed and like he's ready to float away here. This is longing. This is how you depict longing in video format. Does anybody know where this is by the background here? I would think somewhere, somewhere by uh, the ocean is what I'm, I'm guessing here. Oh, the, the marina. Some sailboats. Not a lot of boats out. Looks like it's a windy day. You think there'd be more boats out? But have you ever seen the movie Waterworld with Kevin Costner? I think, I think that's a... People hate that movie and I like how... Campy it is. Is it campy? It's a 90s movie, but it feels like 80s post-apocalyptic. You ever see the movie Cyborg, John claude Van Damme? I think that's an 80s movie. That might be early 90s, but it feels like that. Really like... I don't know. It's not that it's far-fetched because it's a film and it's allowed to be, but it's just the aesthetic. It seems like they went for a much... Like a very reductive setting so that they could afford to build it. Unless it was a novel. Was it a novel first? It, the book's probably better. Books are usually better, right? Anyways, my, this, is, this is my um, recommendation for Waterworld. A zillion stars. Yo, peep his posture though. No, hang on. If you're in a band, if you're in any... Look at this. Look at that, that profile, that posture with the profile, that's how you get dope band photos. Like if you're in a band, you need to be doing that posture, that kind of, you wanna plant your feet like a statue and then just kind of hold and pivot so you get some really cool profile shots. If you're backlit, mm. Do you think it's the flute that he's in love with? Oh my, look at this. Yo, what does that flute remind you of, though? Look at how it's just sitting on the tip of his lips like that. I need to get a drink. You can really feel the pain resonating. And here's the thing. Here's the thing, everybody. Like, we're in, this is 14 years ago, all right? We're now in the phase like, oh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get the context without the video. No, you wouldn't. You really wouldn't. By listening to this on Spotify, you would not get the context of, of what he's feeling here. You might just think of it as like, oh, this is, a, this is just an all right song. But when you see... The artist subjecting themselves, obviously suffering through all of this. You can, you can really see that it's more about the emotion than it is the actual technicality of producing sound. You can look at somebody like Jimi Hendrix or any blues guitarist. When they lose themselves in whatever they're feeling, they transcend themselves. And the instrument almost plays itself. They become possessed. You can, you can visualize that here. 
you can't always hear that. And because it's a flute, there's not much, it's not, it's not very dynamic. You would lose the opportunity to pull that nuance and that context from the audio alone. So in this case, um, videos like this are, are very helpful. So that's a, that's a major plus Matt Mulholland. The rose represents his love, I'm guessing. Maybe the rose is his love. Rocks. Rocks represent stability. You are my rock. I am a rock. I am an island. You find a love like that, it's 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 not going anywhere unless unless the rock dies. And I haven't seen The Rock lose a match in 20 years. Hold up. H hold up. Hold up. Here we go. We need to see this again. This should be in a highlight reel, baby. No, but it's smooth. Right, having just shot a music video for Undersold in Skies for the song Pendulums, which will be out uh, in March, I can tell you with, with confidence that moving that smooth off a jump is not as easy as it might seem. Let's see. Beautiful. Bro's got presents here. Uh -huh. One hand. Question. I'm asking you, the viewers, is that his mom or is that him? Or is that like a girlfriend? Or is that like a buddy? Who is that person? I want to know your theories. I think that's him speaking to himself from another dimension. If I have to, if I have to be honest with you, you ever see the new Flash movie? I haven't seen it, but I heard it goes through different dimensions and you got different Batmans. You got Michael Keaton, Batman, which is the best one, by the way. You got Ben Affleck. What are you doing? Get out of here, Ben. Um, and you have uh, two different, uh, is that the only, two different flashes, right? But the Michael Keaton Batman thing is pretty cool. So if, like, if that represents Michael Keaton, when, if it, that represents Ben Affleck, that's a mark against you, Maddie. Oh, is this a euphemism? What does this man represent up here? Look at him. He's just on that thing. He's just on that cannon. I think this is very salacious. This is provocative. Here. Is that like the devil on his shoulder? Except on his sh it's not on his shoulder. It's on his... It's on his... You know, I got a devil on my, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't think I've had that before. I haven't had that before. I love that out of focus shot. It's so artistic because when you're in the depths of love, and you're lost and you're, you're suffering heartache and grief, whatever you have. It's hard to find clarity. It is absolutely impossible at times to see clearly. And you're wading your way through these feelings like a fog, through sludge, through a bog. Not knowing where you're going, but you have this vague idea of what is around you. And you start to slip away. If you can't actually find the humanity there even though you're surrounded by people they appear to you almost as shadows and there is a very deep sadness in that level of isolation that level of darkness and here i sense that this is what he was going for here by that out of focus shot superimposed over a candle is that through through this muddied vision through this hardship there is yet a light to be found
Mm. Oh, who's that? Who is that there? Is that someone who came with the frame or is that like, is that who the song's about? Maybe that's his mom. You know? I don't know. I'm, a, I'm assuming, you know, maybe I'm a little off base just assuming he had a, a mother at some point, a biological mother at some point. I don't know what technology exists wherever he is. He could have been cloned. He could have been born out of a test tube. His mother could be this vase here, as far as I know. And the point is, and I think the main thing is here, is that you hold, you hold people who do these kinds of videos to account. If they're going to say something, check them. Check them on it. You know what I mean? The candlelight that never dies. Whoa, 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 look. Okay, hang on, hang on. Look at this. I don't know if this is by design, but if you overlay, like maybe he's trying to make it look like he has stonewashed jeans by having the stones in the background, the rocks, and the waves rush, wash against it. It almost looks like he's got stonewashed jeans going on here. I think that's a very clever play by, uh, by the director, by the editor. That is, that's levels. We're operating on levels here, homeboy. Look at that. Where can I buy those? I would love if this is how they actually manufacture stonewashed jeans. They put somebody on a, on a cliff with a flute and make them play this song. And it just produces stonewash in your jeans. That's a banger, dude. Look at that. Your lips so close to the fire like that? I can relate to that. I can relate to that. Oh my goodness. So that is, that is My Heart Will Go On, recorded by Candlelight by Matt Mulholland. You can find Matt Mulholland on YouTube. He's got 207 k subscribers i'll put the link down below you can you can follow him tell him wolf sent you gang up this video's got eight hundred and four thousand likes i mean 14 years not bad i think i don't really know i don't really know youtube things um but i do know that if you like this video you like what, what do people say when um when you like something or like hey if you're gonna watch this video click the buttons that do things. Whatever other people say, that's what I'm saying to you. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Hand movements, lots of hand movements because we're engaging you here. Because you need to be stimulated visually because what I say isn't always good enough, right? So here we go, visualization. Let me know what you think in the comments below. My opinion on this, a billion stars. This is the best song I've heard all day. It is the only song I've heard all day, but it is the best one. Thank you for watching. Peace.